light. We've now pressurized the system and uh, gradually figuring out leaks. We're now running at uh, 35 pounds is supposed to be well over 100. So and shortly we're going to take shut the air off, which is being fed from a hose from the shock air supply, and uh, we will start checking all the leaky unions. It doesn't seem to be any major leak, it's just a bunch of small ones. But that sound you heard is the first time since probably 1955 that the whistle was actually tuned. We couldn't run the air compressor for the car because we don't have the DC current. Okay, so the other end works as well? The other end works, yeah. You'll be able to tell the difference between one end and the other. Notice. Uh, notice the air pressure in the reservoir is now about 47 pounds. So we're actually building up a little bit. Just uh, pull the whistle cord and away she goes. I have also painted the wire and put all the back in. Uh, next thing we're going to be doing is taking the air brake valve apart to see if there's any problem there. Uh, I think that's probably all of it. Having an intense curatorial discussion is the, the door retainer latch. This is the original which we cleaned up a little bit and the block of this is, this is meant to go behind the door when the door is open and it acts as a cushion and that piece of rubber had turned to concrete and yesterday Lloyd Rosebeer, one of our volunteers, was able to get it out and replaced it, did a nice job including riveting that in using a piece of copper wire to make a rivet. Now interestingly enough, uh, it could be mounted in two, actually three places. You can see the holes up here where this seat for the spring was here or here or here and when I uh, I had forgotten when we took it apart until I looked at our curatorial photograph that this one was mounted on the side and the one on the other end was mounted on the top and you can see what they had to do I'll just push Jim right out the door here this piece uh, is one I made to duplicate the one on the other end because when they put the screws in here and this disc got pushed on, it pulled the screws out. So this reinforced the wood. So that's an extra that we have added. Uh, I think we're going to leave it there because I think there was something like that at the end. So we're going to put the thing here, but he's going to have the brass piece which he made up on the top and this one will just do that. Okay, I know that that's difficult to do. The other end will do the other way.